How's it going guys? Coffee here. Today I wanted to showcase my the uh, Oracle of Gods um, Castle Channeling um, Ring of Ice build. This build is currently farming T8 right now. Um, as you can see here, we're floating somewhere around 2 billion DPS on this version. Um, the biggest things that this build excels in is it is extremely fast. It's extremely fast mapper. It's very tanky and it has a really good survival. Um, it does have a little bit less damage than the Thundercloud build, though with investment, you can still kind of hit that 100 billion or so damage. Um, though that does take a pretty significant investment. You can see here for the gear, we are using a Surging Inspiration. Um, if you wanted to maximize this, you'd be using this with plus one focus charges. Um, we're just using a chest here with two fo focus blessings. We are using an exquisite box. You do need this Long Night Sorcerer's wristband here. You do need this Restores 4% of mana mod in order to not go out of mana with Path of Flames. But here we're just getting our res and then um, yes off of this for our belt. You want to be running this additional defense and then you want additional stacks of either agility or tenacity blessing. Um, it doesn't really matter matter for Thea 1. I think tenacity is probably better just for the extra survivability. Um, but either one is fine. I had this from my Thea 2 character. So we ended up moving this over here and I didn't bother changing anything. For your boots you have these. You want to just craft high ES with uh, focus blessings for mapping I'll typically be running these grace boots instead um, just for the extra movement speed um, I'll just forego the extra resistances and not really worry about it um, for your rings you want to be looking for rings with a minimum of double of this um, critical strike damage mod preferably if you can get a third mod with either like the focus blessing um, spell damage per focus blessing or whatever you'd want to be running those but as you can see here, I just found a pair of these double uh, critical strike mod. I ended up corrupting this one and got pretty lucky on it. So there's that. And then for your weapons, you're just using standard plus four weapons with um, spell burst damage. You can bump these up to plus six, of course, um, if you get a chance. But I didn't end up pushing, pushing these weapons yet because I'm not sure if I'm going to play this build or the Thundercloud version of, of this uh, Thea here. And then you can see here, we have the second one here, which ended up rolling double damage instead of the crit chance. Um, and then we still have this for a spell burst and all this here. For the skills itself, it's a standard Path of Flame setup here with guard. For your candles, you end up just running plus two to cold skill levels. For your mapping, you want to be running with these plus two uh, percent damage candles instead. And I will showcase what these look like here um, in a mapping experience here after we go over this. For your speed phantom, you just want to be running this the periodic burst magic dash. If you have the extra stuff, you can run quick mobility and cooldown reduction as well. Then we're running forced start defense layers, cooldown reduction, and extended duration. We have secret origin unleash here with a mass effect mania and will fought battle. And then we have fixate here with mania, mass effect, and extended duration. For your cast while channeling, you are running um, Critical Strike Damage, Freeze Chance, Psychic Burst, and Overload. And then we have a uh, second setup here with Steadfast, Elemental Amplification, Frigid Domain, Elemental Resistance, and Erosion uh, Enhancement here. We're just running this purely for the extra damage to life. And then you have a second cast while channeling setup here with um, Biting Cold. And then you have an Energy Fortress and Swiftness in here. For your actual tree here, um, we are running Goddess of Knowledge. You're doing a pretty standard setup here. You're grabbing all the blessings. You're grabbing the skill levels, the spell burst. Um, when I get this last point, I'll put this last point in the sealed mana. I don't actually need the extra sealed mana, so I'm just taking extra ES right now. But early on, just take the extra sealed mana, and then you can move the points back to the ES later. And then for Magister here, we're just taking the ES and then all the maximum mana because we're basically we're doing a mana stacking where we're converting the mana into um, ES, things like this. So as we go along, we're taking the extra mana, 
um, the extra spell damage for crit and extra spell burst. And then under Shadow Master is where we're getting our stuff here, where we are um, converting mana to ES here. So you can see extra max life and ES, and then just extra damage here, um, extra max mana. And then as we're going through extra sealed mana over here, crit strike, um, more mana. Actually, I want to change this here. I want just more flat ES here. Um, energy shield, charge speed, and regen here. And then we have our extra mana right here. More max ES and max erosion res. And then we just have our um, aura effect and stuff over here. And then for the last node here, we are taking life conversion. It just gives us even extra more sealed mana and more... Um, Life is mana, which is then being converted to ES. For your slates, you want to be running Focus Strike, um, the same thing as you would on any other Thea. And then you want one of these right here with own, own one additional stack of Tenacity Blessing. And then you do want one of these. I have this one. This slate probably needs to be changed. This is just additional damage after using mobility skills. Um, I use this more for Thundercloud, but I just had it on anyways. And then we have one here with Spell Burst. Um, for your other slates, you want to be running one of these with max focus blessings. Um, if you can get two of them or one with a double focus blessing on it like this, then that's really good. Um, but if not, you just want one with max focus blessing and then you want a one with max agility blessing as well. And then um, this re restores mod is also very good. Um, very helpful at keeping yourself up whenever you're taking damage. Let's go ahead and uh, go over map now and kind of showcase what this looks like in a mapping experience. And then um, we'll take it from there. Let's go ahead and showcase it in a T8. You can see here with this additional candle here, it does add quite a bit of speed along with the grace boots. So you're getting a pretty fast mapper for even a T8 experience here. And you can kind of just kind of continue to push yourself along and zoom along without having to worry about too much. You're not completely immortal with this build by any means, but you are pretty tanky for most D8 content. Uh, as you push the gear to be better, you should be able to continue to farm any of the deeper um, T8 stuff without any issues. Go into the city as well. For these white circle ones, if you have a hard time actually keeping your character in them, um, one of the alternatives that I will do sometimes is I will actually just swap to Thundercloud um, here. And then I will just spam Thundercloud inside. So you're still getting your cast while channeling, um, but you're standing still. Depends. I mean, sometimes I have the mouse control for it and it behaves properly and I don't have to do anything but the good thing about Thundercloud with the Ring of Ice is if something does spawn edge of screen if you just hover your mouse over it um, the you will see that the Ring of Ice will actually target it all the way over there um, so you can't actually target things off screen so you can see I'm targeting the boss over here off screen with this just by holding down the mouse over it You don't actually really need to be using Path of Flames. It's more just uh, specifically for the movement on it there. Salt the spec. It helps if you keep your inventory clean here and you don't have just a bunch of extra uh, skills in there. Definitely helps.
Yeah, and other than that, um, the build is pretty smooth. It's a really fast um, character for farming cities as well because of just the extra movement speed along with the candles. Um, any class right now that can utilize the movement speed candles is just going to save you a ton of time. It's pretty much the only reason why I'm not pumping Iris as hard as I am on uh, either of these Thea characters, just because the uh, the movement speed is uh, extremely fun. So you get kind of really hooked on it. Um, yeah, other than that, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments down below. I will be more than happy to answer them. And other than that, I will see you in the next one with a Thundercloud version of this exact uh, same character.